Bruce Grayson, un científico escéptico, acaba dedicándose a las experiencias cercanas a la muerte. Near-death experiences tell me that that there is life after this life. Bueno, tenemos la suerte de tener aquí a Bruce Grayson, padre de la investigación de las experiencias cercanas a la muerte, médico psiquiátrico. Es el investigador más prolífico en este tipo de vivencias. Lleva 45 años investigando desde la ciencia estas experiencias cercanas a la muerte. Como un escéptico, un científico escéptico acaba dedicándose a las experiencias cercanas a la muerte. I think as a skeptical scientist, it's my obligation to study things we don't understand. And the near-death experience is one of those things that science does not currently have an explanation for. But it obviously exists. It's there and we can't deny it. To deny it would be not scientific. So I think we have an obligation as skeptics and as scientists to ask questions about it and to try to study it and understand it as best we can. Cuénteme, por favor, una experiencia típica de de experiencia cercana a la muerte. A typical near-death experience involves a sense of leaving the physical body, being overwhelmed with a sense of overwhelming peace and well-being, often watching what's going on around the body and then at some point leaving that and going to some other realm or dimension where they may see a warm, loving being of light, which they may think is a, is a god. They may see deceased loved ones, and often review their entire lives. And at some point, they will either choose to return, return back to their bodies or be told to come back to their bodies. ¿Se les ofrece? Very often they are told they need to come back, it's not their time or they have more work to do. ¿Alguien? ¿Hay alguien ahí que les Someone dice eso o ellos lo entienden por sí mismos? Sometimes somebody tells them, either um, a being of light, a deity, or sometimes a deceased loved one will tell them their work is not finished but often they will decide by for themselves that they want to come back to do something that they've left undone here, whether that's raising a child or helping a elderly parent uh, or something like that. Cuénteme una experiencia cercana a la muerte que haya vivido y que, bueno, refleje eh, esa capacidad de visión de lo que está ocurriendo pese a estar, eh, en teoría, clínicamente muerto. One person who was um, in, in the hospital for severe pneumonia and was has repeated respiratory arrest where he stopped breathing, um, he had a near-death experience during one of his respiratory arrests where he found himself in a beautiful pastoral scene. And there he saw his nurse walking towards him. And he was surprised to see her there. So he asked her what she was doing there. And she said that uh, she was living there now, not in this world, and he had to come back and she wanted him to tell her parents certain things. Um, and she, he did come back. And when he woke up in his hospital bed again, he remembered this vividly and told this to the first nurse who came into his room. And she was very upset, ran out of the room. It turned out that the nurse he had seen in his near-death experience had died that day in an automobile crash. And he didn't know that, and yet he saw her in his near-death experience. I've, I've interviewed uh, many people, more than a thousand, who have told me similar stories, people from different cultures, different religions, and they all tell the same basic type of story. Y todo eso es comprobable. Yes, yes. In almost every case, we've been able to verify that they were completely accurate in their descriptions. ¿Y cuáles son los efectos secundarios de haber tenido una experiencia cercana a la muerte? ¿Cómo vuelven estas personas? People come back from a near-death experience um, with a much more spiritual outlook. They are no longer concerned with things of this world, material possessions, power, prestige, fame, and they're much more concerned with relationships, with being kind and comparing, compassionate. Uh, they often become much more altruistic. Um, they also come back with no fear of death, no fear of dying. No matter how they describe the NDE, they no longer think that death is something to be afraid of. Parece que hay vida después de la vida. Near-death experiences tell me that, that there is life after this life. Bueno, pues espero verle en la próxima vida de nuevo. Seguiremos hablando. Menuda conversación tendremos. Thank you.